Hello, Dave here with emergencyprepguy.com. I appreciate you stopping by. I just wanted to do a short little video here and give you an update on the uh, the automatic feeders that I have for the in the two quail hutches. Since I've done the uh, the adjustments on those, just, just so you can see how they're working long term. Um, they're not as aesthetically pretty because I had to make changes to the front. Uh, you know after the fact it would have been nicer if I would have been able to design this I could have you know I could have done this on the main piece of plywood and had it all painted and looking nice rather than now I have a board uh, Screwed into the front of it, but functionally it works. It works fine It just isn't as pretty as if I would have done this uh, The design exactly this way from the beginning. So let's spin the camera around and I'll show you uh, how, how things are working Okay, so here's the checker partridges. Those guys are pretty birds. I really like how pretty they are and they're big. Um, if you can see, let me, uh, it's kind of cold out this morning. And there's a, uh, if you can see in there, um, again, it would have been nice to have just cut the uh, the original plywood with a nice even you know square cut or even holes either one would have worked um, you know but at this height uh, originally and then it would have all been painted and looking nice this is functional it's just not as not as pretty but it works really good if you're building your own you can do it the first time correctly but you can see down in there uh, they got plenty of access to the food. They can reach it great. And I don't see anything down there other than poop. They're not spilling anything at all. Uh, this here, this uh, board, I cut 30, 30 inches by uh, three and three quarters inches. And uh, that gives plenty of depth in here so that they they can you know they can still reach the food but they you know they don't really obviously not spilling anything i'll show you up here if i take the lid off the feeder you can see i've got it completely full and uh it's working like a champ <clears throat> sorry i got a little bit of cough been sick for about a week and then if you look in this one I'll show you the same uh, same type of adjustments that I made. The quail were a little shorter, and I so I put a little step there for them, just to make sure they could get in there and reach it. See if that guy can get in there and you can see it. Go ahead, take a bite there, buddy. He's camera shy. Anyway, anyway, you can see here I've got the. Under the lid, I've got it completely full of feed. It holds, uh, these. each of these feeders hold a 50 count, uh, complete 50 gallon bag of food. Matter of fact, a little bit more than a 50 gallon bag. Um, but I usually just put a 50 gallon bag in there at a time. There, you can see him reach down. He has to work a little bit for it. If he stands all the way up on the step, he can reach it really good. So you can see the, the thing's full. They can reach the food. And uh, again, it's uh, functionally it works great. And you can see down here that uh, all you see is poop. No, uh, no food really. They're not spilling anything at all anymore. So I might have this just a touch too high for these birds. But other than that, it's working great. Okay, well, I hope that was interesting. I appreciate you watching the video all the way to the end, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks.